This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. CES 2012 coverage is sponsored in part by GoDaddy.com. Get 25% off their fourth generation hosting by using promo code CES2. Find more GoDaddy deals at tpn.tv. Um, the buttons are, are going 
time, uh, you know, Bucking still is your, you know, they have, I think, you know, I guess you're going to quote me because I'm on video, but I think it's a million clicks. There's some ridiculous number before they put out their really high end switches. Um, it's all premium material, solid aluminum construction, but it does not just provide some kind of quality foundation, and then we do the little touches. So if you look at our N60, for example, we've got a sniper button because in FPS, it's about target acquisition, then targeting for the headshot, right? So everybody wants to get that headshot, and if you're not, you know, if you're not in Counter Strike with the giant hitboxes, it's kind of hard to do sometimes, but. But the next part is, you know, you sort of track it in, in high res mode, you get that sniper button, and what it does is it drops your DPI immediately to 800 DPI. It's actually startable, but that's our default. And so you go from fast target acquisition down to real fine control, let go of the shoot, then when you let go of the button, you're right back at 5700 DPI. So it's just, as long as you're holding it, it drops it, as soon as you let go, you go back up high, high resolution, makes um, the game a lot more fluid because you, you, you get real twitchy when you're trying to get fine control, and this gives you fine control with bigger movements, which makes it nice and fluid. You don't have to, you don't have to kind of move from big to small, big to small all the time. You, you kind of keep the same motion, and you just adjust your DPI with your thumb. It's really cool. Really nice for the more quick point, because then in your manager, you have, you know, not just a one, it's a zero, you have a range of different reactions. When you have to get around, maybe you're going to slow down when you get close, right? So it's, it, it does give you that kind of ability. Um, it's a, you know, and it, as a mouse goes, it's also got adjustable weight tuning center gravity. So I'm a skip mouser, so I skip and I tend to pinch with my thumb and pinky, and that makes, uh, that can make your, um, your mouse wobble in your hand a bit because your center balance isn't exactly right. With the weight tuning system, we can both both adjust both the weight and that center gravity so it's balanced for you, balanced for me, you know, each individual's hands. So it's really kind of cool. Um, similarly on the M90, you know, what we've got there is a, a macro mouse, so it's got nine macro programmable buttons. Now, um, one of our, uh, one of the most popular macro mice out there has nine buttons arranged, kind of like a telephone keypad. So I got it, I used it for a while, and every time you grab it, your thumb actually hits a button, because it's sitting right under your thumb. And so you end up disabling a bunch of buttons. Well, with ours, we place the nine buttons all around your thumb, so your thumb has a solid place to sit, and you can move up, down, back, and find the button that you want to press, but not ever squeeze it accidentally, because accidentally triggering a macro can be a disaster in the middle of the game, right? So, you know, you end up not being able to use all nine buttons, where with ours, we really designed it to try and have all nine buttons, you know, laid out intelligently so you could use all nine of them at any time. Rather, which makes a lot of sense, and that a lot of time I thought, and most of us don't have the keyboard, don't have the mouse, but with us, I don't know if you really know what you're going to do, and it's absolutely, absolutely, and it's so many games is, um, it, it's a lot, it's a lot harder than people think to do good audio in games because you've got a really wide range of frequencies. So you've got a lot of bass and explosions and, you know, rumbling tanks or whatever, and you've got ricochets and pings and you've got team chat. And um, if you don't design your headphones well, some of that frequency will get overwhelmed. We find that a lot in some of the gaming headsets where the bass is so much it overwhelms that, that sort of team chat range that kind of, you know, where you, where you have your speech is naturally in the frequency band, it gets kind of washed away by the, by the strong, the overly strong bass. Now, it's not to say you should have great bass, but you have to be careful not to overdrive it so you wash out the rest of your, um, your audio. And people will blame the mic. It has nothing to do with the mic. It's on the other. You guys are hearing you fine. You're not hearing them, not because their mic's bad, but because your headphones are, are too much. So we've got um, two, um, three headphones that we launched, the Vengeance 1300. Um, and 1500, and then the Vengeance 1100. So Vengeance 1100 is a lightweight behind the head headphone. It uh, uses 40 millimeter drivers, has a noise canceling adjustable mic. Um, sounds fantastic. It's a it's a great retail price. It's MSRP of 39.99, so it's it's a very affordable. But sounds really really good, especially for the price point. The 1300 and the 1500 those use 50 millimeter drivers. They're over the ear. So 50 millimeter drivers, most over your head phone designs are 40s, which is the same as we have in our, in our behind the head ones. Um, so we went up to 50, that gives us a lot more surface area, which gives us a lot better frequency response. We can drive more power and get cleaner results from it. The earphones are really large, so they fit around your ear comfortably. And the idea that was, you know, if something's touching your ear for two or three or four hours, it's gonna cause you some irritation. If it's around your head and with memory foam, which is what we use, it sort of conforms to your head and really you almost 
blues to say so that the headphones are on. Got a pad in the band adjustable. Your cups and that boom mic is also adjustable, so you can flip it up, bring it down, to move it in and out to get it exactly right for you. It's also a noise canceling mic, so you know you're gonna you're going to hear the drop and not all the rest of the noise around you. Definitely have a lot of things to think about when a lot of people think of course that they don't not the thing you need to go through right to the end of the peripherals you think run and kills the stuff that's not the idea. It's all state drives and no room. I mean, we do, we, we actually are in eight different product categories now, so it's kind of an interesting thing. But yeah, I hear it all the time. Oh, you're the memory guys, or oh, I have one of your PS2. I didn't know you built the games, or I didn't know you built it. Yeah, we do an amazing range of products, um, but they're all targeted at people who are passionate about their PCs. So, you know, it doesn't, whether it's a case or a cooler, a CPU cooler, or PSU, or whatever, we're, we're always kind of trying to find the things that are going to make that that system builder, that PC guy, that gamer is building his own stuff because he knows what he wants. We're going to make that a better PC for him. And I know with your own peripherals, we can build the complete system from the inside out. What are we talking about? Yeah, we kind of say we just add motherboard graphics and CPU. Right? Because everything else can come from the box, which is kind of neat. Um, but it's, it's nice because you've got the option of, of really being able to, to go to a company who understands how, how you build your PC and what you do with it. And we try and build products for you. The nice part is we've got a wide range of um, you know, price points, quality levels, all that, so people can kind of get in at whatever level they can, you know, is, is comfortable for them. So, so it's never a bad thing. Don't build a product for you want to go through anything. This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here.